Yo, what up everybody? It's Slummy here. I'm coming at you with another video. I know, I know. Two videos, one day. I'm putting in some work, man, let me tell you. So with the new patch, uh, 2.0.0, the pre-forsaken patch, go out and do the flashpoint on Mars and go out and do it right now because right now, it's when you complete them, it's dropping uh, forsaken guns and forsaken armor pieces. I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is kind of like a little little taste Bungie is throwing us. So since I am not sure, I highly recommend you do this as soon as possible. Right now they also include with the new patch, uh, Lost Sectors and Heroic Challenges are now factored into the Flashpoint percentage. So since it's Mars, you're not stuck sitting around uh, waiting for the public events to start you can go ahead and do those lost sectors and heroic missions while you wait for the public events to respawn uh, But here you go. So when I turned in my flashpoint, I was pretty surprised to see that I do indeed have a forsaken Auto rifle. It's called the ether doctor um, I got to do some runs with this gun as you can see in the footage behind me. It, it's awesome uh, The stability is fantastic. This thing just shreds and the best part is it dropped at a higher le power level than my current character. So I'm power level 368. This bad boy dropped at 370. So let's take a look at the stats here. Um, so basically we have two scopes, the dust sight and the devil scope. I'm going to roll with the devil scope because although it says that this increases handling and increases range, this scope actually has better range and better handling. So yeah, no brainer there. It also comes with ricochet rounds for increased stability and slightly increased range. It also has light mag for increased reload speed, increased range, but I'm obviously going to go with the ricochet rounds. Uh, it also comes with zen moment causing damage with this weapon increases stability. I could tell you the stability on this weapon is probably one of the better automatic weapons that I've used. Um, it is a kinetic weapon. Uh, so yeah, so it, it's 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 great. It's fantastic. I love it. And then we have pulse monitor uh, Reloads part of your magazine when you are critically critically wounded um, So I'm pretty sure these are part of the random roll stats. Uh, this is by no means a god roll uh, Again, make sure you check out my other video because I will show you exactly what to do in terms of turning in your flashpoint You now turn it into Anna Bray since it's on Mars Um the weapon mod is not available at this time, so um, you can't really mod it, but the shaders do work. As you can see here, I do have a shader on there. Um, I can even change it up. Actually, it's kind of a badass shader as well, so we'll change it to that. Also, it has the new Masterwork system on here, so you can see it's a tier system. Um, I don't think... We, let, let's try it. So, yeah, so I can actually mess with it a little bit. Um, I don't know if that really even did anything, but <clears throat> yeah, so, but it says tier six here, so I'm gonna assume it has, but oh, and it looks like, yeah, more stats came up. So this is pretty awesome. So we got kill tracker, um, and then we got crucible tracker. So you can actually pick it here, although there's no symbol yet, but wow, that's, that's actually kind of cool. I like that better than the way Masterworks used to work. So that, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, so there you go, the Ether Doctor, which is a Forsaken auto rifle. Again, go out, do that flashpoint right now because like I said, I don't know if it's a glitch or if it was purposely done. I didn't check the Twitter forums to see. Um, go out and get your weapons. If you have three characters, go do it on all three characters. Maybe you'll get a weapon, but I know I have, people have gotten armor pieces as well that I have seen it in game. So. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry to be flooding everybody with all these videos, but make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out a lot. And I wanted to, again, thank everybody for all the positive comments I've gotten. Uh, this community is seriously fantastic. Thank you again. Have a great day, everybody.